Hello, this is Ironhead41. I want to do a video about uh, what to look for uh, if you want to go buy chickens. Uh, I know some of you are getting chickens and goats, but probably don't know how to tend to them. Uh, when you go into the market to buy a chicken, make sure, I don't know if you can see, make sure the back has got all the feathers. But if the feathers has gone off the back, they're eating each other's feathers or picking their own feathers because they're not getting enough protein. Check their legs, make sure they ain't got no big blobs on them, big gross. Check their fingernails for color. Yeah, really, I'm not kidding. Look, check their eyes, make sure their eyes ain't mucus or nothing in their nostrils. Check their nostrils. Make sure it's good and clean if you don't, they're sick. And I'll tell you what, if you bring a sick chicken to your house, they'll, they'll kill them all in just a couple weeks. I mean, every one of them. They'll start losing chicken a day or two. So when you're buying chickens, I mean, good chicken's gonna cost five to 10 bucks. Uh, the junk, three dollars, you know. But you can buy the junk ones. Go, go to the SEX or Southern States, go ahead and get your, uh, get some antibiotic for them. Just get it anyway. You know, uh, if they do get sick, you're ready. You don't lose any. Uh, but you can nurse them up, uh, feed them scratch feed. Uh, and I tell you what, they love rice. Uh, if you've got extra rice left over in your pot in the house. Uh, now, to get the proteins up, uh, when they lay eggs, take the eggs, collect, wash the shells out, give them the shells back. Yeah, no kidding. They like rice, egg shells. Uh, tomatoes, oh, they love tomatoes. You get a tomato going bad, just slice up slices, they'll eat it. Uh, ground beef, uh, tacos, I ain't kidding. They, you can slop chickens, and uh, there's a lot of protein in that slop that you're throwing away, even chicken, even if you boiled you a pot of chicken. And uh, now when you buy chicken, it may take a couple weeks, maybe two, three weeks before they start getting you eggs, because they do get uh, shell shock, you call it, from uh, going to a new place. And uh, they have to get used to you, trust you, uh, stuff like that. And uh, once they get to get to know you, man, they just, they're wonderful, wonderful to have around, really are. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit too about goats. Now I know some of you buying goats, and uh, you know, you're feeding them whatever. Uh, I wouldn't give them nothing but sweet mix or sweet feed. Uh, just a little bit a day, not a whole lot. But you surely need to give them hay, uh, cause they're grass eaters, they're, they're like cows. You give them a bunch of corn, and the corn will get in their belly, and a sire, and they can't pass it, they can't digest if you give them whole kernels of corn or whatever, because they'll die of indigestion. And uh, plus, once in a while, when you water your goats, put a little baking soda in the water. You think I'm kidding? I'm not joking. Put a little baking soda in the water, and uh, it'll, you know, it'll keep their bellies right. Or, uh, or go out and cut you some pine limbs off, some good green pine needles, throw it in there to the goats. They'll eat the green needles off. Because uh, that, that helps them, that helps their belly. It keeps them from uh, getting indigestion. Goats get indigestion because they eat any that kind of thing. And uh, so that makes a lot of sense, sir. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, pine needles is probably the best. But if you're in, in the, if you don't have pines, uh, put some baking soda in their water once in a while. When they drink that water, they get that soda in them. Boy, that really helps their tummy, helps their tummy real good. Uh, like I said, now feeding chickens, I go give them. Give them scraps, give me leftovers. Uh, you had a steak last night for dinner, got a piece of leftover. Uh, that gun, grind it up, they'll eat it. And it's good for them too, because you think when they when they drop you an egg, that big old hunk, that's all the protein. The protein they just lost. And they need that much protein back in them. So don't, don't just feed them scratch feed. Give them, give them your leftovers, high protein foods. And like I said, the goats, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, give them pine needles, sweet feed. Don't give them scratch feed. Don't give them corn, because it'll kill them. And I know it'll kill them. And, uh, and also, uh, that gun when they pray. Mm. Check on them every two or three hours if you can. If once they get swollen up real big, try to be in a position where you can hear them uh, when they start going later. If you, got them, you know, if you got them far away from the house, you really need to get them close. Uh, Cause uh, you know I, I, I wasn't here Wednesday. I was you know, 30 miles away. Got home and uh, one of my girls was had passed on with the baby, and the lid came out first in the head.
in and stuck up in her. So, so if I was here, I could have, you know, tried to push it in, turn it around. But uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, goats. Uh, sometimes them babies about as big as the goat is. They keep the bellies all swollen up like they go pop. So uh, try to keep your goats, uh, especially when they start to get big, bring them closer to the house. Uh, put you a little dog block, a little uh, 10 by 10, a little fence, dog fence things, get you one of them, and put your, uh, your expected mother in there and keep it close to the house. If she goes in labor, she'll go screaming, and you'll hear it, and then uh, you can keep an eye on her and make sure the baby goat comes out right. Uh, that way you can save them. All right, well, that's all I want to say. Uh, like I said, chickens, make sure when you go buy them at the market, the back, to, the back of the feathers look good, the eyes look good, the nostrils look good. Uh, they're not... I mean, chickens shake their head anyway, like, but uh, if they go to make a noise like sneezing, nah, you don't buy that chicken. Uh, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather, you know, pay ten dollars for a chicken that I know is going to live than pay three dollars for a chicken that's sick that, that you'll probably die. I ain't gonna throw three dollars away. Oh, right, well, that's it for Iron Head. That's just a couple tips I wanted to give you on about chickens and goats. Bye.